place quite a big importance on the brief. Um, yes, the quantitative aspects, but the big part of our briefing and our sort of immersion is the qualitative aspects. So we ask a client what's not working in their house, not specific things about how they would fix it, but what doesn't work, what is working for you, what do you do on the weekend, what do you do during the week, all of these sort of things that kind of start to build a picture of who they are and how busy they are and what they do. And I actually quite enjoy hearing the minutiae of people's daily lives and figuring out how we're going to fix it, but also bringing joy to those bits of work at home that should actually be really enjoyable. I think we all around this table can walk into a space and just immediately know what's wrong and how to fix it. It's just the brief gives us that little bit extra information about what the client's expecting to get in there and we've got to try and do that. But I think the big moves, we don't need a brief. I mean, people don't necessarily tell me to put biophilia in my buildings, but most of my recent buildings have all had heavy amounts of embedded greenery and that's something I'll try to always um, push in with, within the project. So I think it's they're looking for us to, to create the joy, create the, the spatial experience. That's part of the fun, I guess, of unlocking the problem. So we use the brief to kind of help us with that. Our design boards are a feature that enable our homeowners to collaborate directly with the architect or the designer, acting like a project management tool directly within the site. So the homeowner can save photos, they can save working documents, they can share that directly with the architect or designer and be very clear on the expectation and the vision of the project right from the start. David, you talked earlier about being very intuitive with your clients and um, I was reminded of the house you worked on in Potts Point, which was your first project here in Sydney, and your client developed an illness, um, early onset of dementia, and you couldn't actually engage with her um, in a way that you may otherwise would have been able to. Just understanding her fashion and, you know, travel memories and, and um, you know, talking about her career and understanding all those sort of things about her and just sort of like, just, just feeling those memories of, of what their relationship and their family were about and then extracting old, old antiques or, or new or old artworks you know, and just sort of creating that, that space for her. So it, it was a tricky process but uh, I think in the end she, you could tell that she, was, she, felt, she felt very happy. Yeah. yeah. 